Only on Denver 7 tonight, our teachers are so often our heroes. Well, we found one Aurora kindergarten teacher who may be a superhero. She spent this past year battling cancer while still teaching the kids she loves. Denver 7's Jacqueline Allen shows us the life lessons she taught them that no textbook ever could. What color did it turn his shoes? <laughs> Inside Murphy Creek Red. School. Did Pete cry? Goodness, no. A kindergarten class is learning a lesson. Even if we cry because we're a little bit sad, does that mean we just give up? No. no. We keep moving. A lesson teacher Amy Albers repeats over and over for her students and herself. It was the second full week of school that I was diagnosed. Diagnosed with stage three breast cancer in September, she went through eight rounds of chemo, but was determined to keep teaching. My fingers ached some days so much I couldn't use scissors to cut with the kids. But honestly, every day I was here, I felt normal and I felt alive. But after a double mastectomy, more bad news. Amy had a rare gene that put her at high risk of cancer spreading. She would need another surgery to remove her stomach. Kids view you as a hero, no matter how broken you are, and they love you. And so to have that on this journey has been a gift. This was a battle for her life, probably the the biggest battle anyone can face. Aaron Green's son is in Amy's class and has been watching his teacher fight to survive. When her hair started growing back, her students asked to touch her head. Her hair was little and we got to feel it and it was soft. I know my son learned a lot through this last year, but it was really a life lesson for me. She taught our kids through her example of, of living. I'm seeing some really nice writing yes. today. Thank you. Amy only missed nine weeks despite two surgeries, chemo, and radiation. Her principal found long-term subs to fill in the gaps. I've learned that uh, just through Amy's positive attitude, um, you can kind of do anything. Now, these kindergartners are graduating, not knowing how sick their teacher was, but maybe knowing what's really important. She's a great teacher. Their teacher never gave up, and they are the reason why. They're brave little fighters, and they're accepting. Um, they probably don't know, sorry, the impact they had on me. So, I'm blessed. In Aurora, Jacqueline Allen, Denver 7. I think they are too. Amy has four more weeks of radiation. She's already planning to start training this summer for the 17-mile Spartan race in Breckenridge, and she has no plans to stop teaching.